I'll give you a whole bladder all to yourself. It's not bad. I don't like that at all. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to eat my lunch now that I've eaten that. I'm Guy Ritchie. I'm Will Smith. This, this is, is Snack, Snack Wars, Wars XL. XL. Integrity is important here, Guy. Okay? <laughs> okay, meaning? Meaning when you taste it, yeah. you have to be honest that the American is better. Oh, that's sort of integrity. <laughs> American integrity. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's right, see what's under here. Right. Whoa! Ooh. Can you imagine? I recognize that's that's what you we call fish and chips. Do you recognize that? I want you to experience. Okay, so you see what's happening in there, right? Okay. It's called a sloppy Joe. Right. And I'm I, gonna cut you what I think is the best piece for you. So there you go. And, and integrity is what you. we're after here. Integrity is what we're after. Right, so you here. can taste that. All right. Mm. <laughs> Do I need the mushy peas? Oh, yeah. Well, you, it's a sort of independent. So let's go here. I mean, integrity being the name of the game today, it's clearly um, the Union Jack. <laughs> uh, There's no way that you think a piece of fried fish with some peas was just better than a world-class Sloppy Joe. I'm sorry, there's every way I think now. <laughs> sure. Your Sloppy Joe is all over the gas. You know, he doesn't really know what he's doing. I call that one a draw. Draw? This is draw. ridiculous. Well, you don't even understand the depth and power of sla power oh, Sloppy Joe. Oh, <laughs> I can tell you the history of fish and chips. It comes from a kind of aristocratic roots. Sloppy Joe? Sloppy Joe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there was, okay, there was this messy, there was this messy dude named Joe. All right, here we go. Okay. Ah! Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> La Haggis. That lost already. Uh, I'm not one to judge a book uh, <laughs> by its cover, but I'm not reading that. <laughs> well, this is, this is meatloaf. See, this, that's a British vibe that they put <laughs> That's very good. I'm not mad at that. Uh, <laughs> a little, 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 little. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Th that. It looks like Sigourney Weaver, like, <laughs> delivered that. <laughs> it's made out of um, the bowels of a sheep or mm. something like that. And mm. it's all wrapped up in the, um, in so the bladder mm. of, a, of a pig. I don't oh. I'll give you a whole bladder all to yourself over mm. there. Look. If you call it a bladder and it's on a plate, it lost. It's not boring. It's not boring. No. I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna eat the bladder and everything. It's not bad. I don't like that at all. <laughs> I'll put a draw on that. Uh, John, there's no way. As it turns out, it's meat like wasn't. It's, I mean, it's boring. <laughs> but it's not that bad. I'm not gonna be able to eat my lunch now that I've eaten that. We need Swiss judges. <laughs> You're gonna lose I, this one. This is not fair. Just because it's pretty, you got the little gold sauce on top. Yeah, why don't you, this take, is you set up. have your own one over there. Oh, it's a little trifle. It's green with jealousy. That's good. That one's good. No. Okay. I mean, Shall it's we? just a Twinkie. It's just a Twinkie. It's like not fair. No, it's come out of a microwave where... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that went to the Brits. With the asterisk that the Brits have prepared the competition. <laughs> it's a special Ooh. one. Oh! oh! Le Chili Deals. Yeah. <laughs> this is a British attempt at a Philadelphia cheesesteak. I'm gonna taste it first and make sure they captured the essence. We should concede this one right now. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's not gonna win I mean, I anything. love Jelly Deals, but it's pretty esoteric. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that could be too interesting for the American palate over here. That would lose in the ocean. Like, there's like, <laughs> there are fish that would swim past that and, and, and not eat it. Sorry, what's this, a Philadelphia cheesesteak? It's a Philadelphia cheesesteak. Cheese it's a Philadelphia cheesesteak. It's sort of kids food, really. For kids and kids at heart. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, we're going to lose this one, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I have to tell you, mm -hmm. I mean, I love eel. I love jelly. The temperature could just do it being a little bit lower. I <laughs> promise you, there is no friggin' temperature where that would become tasty. Right. Right at the point where it turns from gas to plasma. Like that, that's, right, that's right where that would become tasty. Is there a way you're supposed to eat it? Yeah, just watch out for the bone in the middle. Need a close up, so. What is this again? Tell me, guy, what this is. That's jellied eel. <laughs> jellied eel. Here we go. 
<laughs> no, no, you, yeah. You <laughs> Swallow it. <laughs> wow, that's awful. That's definitely an acquired taste. It's an acquired taste. There's no way you think jellied eel. Well, I'm sorry, for sophistication, we've nicked this. <laughs> the prerequisite for food is you should be able to eat it. <laughs> He's being cruel. <laughs> we saw two different fights here. Uh, <laughs> okay, but is this not categorized in sophistication? <laughs> <laughs> I start with chewability. <laughs> We're going to draw. Well, All right. hands across the ocean. Okay, hands across the ocean. ocean. This is Will LAP. Smith. And this is Guy Ritchie. And this has been Snack Wars for Lad Bible. Bible. <laughs> I mean, you can't have a competition without singing our national anthems. Oh, say can oh, you oh, see queen. who's broad stripes and bright stars? Yeah.